<laughs> Hello, everybody. As if the Marathon Timu Hall wasn't enough, we have a Goodwill and Dollar Tree Hall. We went into um, Ripley, West Virginia, so we could get something to eat, and the idea was you're going to eat. You wanted to go to Goodwill, I wanted to hit Dollar Tree, and then we were going to go to Walmart and get some groceries. <laughs> Fuck Walmart. <laughs> Dude, let me tell the story. I don't need your language. Mar. Anyway. Um, goodness gracious, we put a lot of tape on this thing. We get all our stuff in the cart. We went, we went to Goodwill, then we went to Dollar Tree. Then we got something to eat at um, Las Troncas, which is a Mexican place we hadn't been to. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, you get a ton of food. Oh, I mean, yeah. It was just so much food. <laughs> I ended up bringing about half of mine home. And then we went over to Walmart. That was what? About quarter to ten or something when we got there? Yeah. So we're in Walmart. We get all, we're getting our stuff and we have it all in the cart. And they call, you know, 15 minutes till closing, because they close at 11 now. And we get in line, and the cashier, as soon as we got in line, the cashier turns off her light, and she goes, you have to go down to the self-checkout. And I'm like, I got a whole cartload of stuff. No, I'm not doing self-checkout. Yep. It, it was too much stuff. If it was one or two items, fine. There's a whole cart full of stuff. I've done that before in other stores. I don't know what it does is make me mad. And it really, <laughs> really irritated me that she yeah. waited until I was in line to turn off her light, and instead of saying, you'll be my last person, she's like, you have to go. Yep. I'm getting tired of stores who do this nonsense. Yep. Because we had the same issue at Kroger, what, about two months ago? Yeah. Where we came up. And they close at 11. At 9 o'clock, they shut down all their registers. Yeah. They still have people shopping. We had a whole heaping cart full of stuff. And they made me go through the self-checkout. And I got over there, and I started checking out. And the a guy, a cashier turns on the light at the register. And this really snot-nosed little brat... <laughs> I know he's a college kid and all, but man, he was. Mm. That's not even a fucking excuse. Pushed every button I had. Oh, yeah. Was like, well, you go over to that register. And I'm like, I'm halfway through my order now. Why didn't you send me over there before I started? You saw when I was in line waiting on one of the self checkouts that I had a heaping cart full of stuff. And you and, and your little buddy over there were just standing there talking and completely ignoring your customers. Yep. You wait until we get up there, and I made a comment if I really don't like doing self-checkout. And then you were rude to me the whole time I was here. Well, you could have gone over to that register. We opened it up for you. You didn't... First of all, no, you I waited until I was already partway through my order. Second of all, you didn't tell me you opened it for me. Exactly. <laughs> and third of all, you were rude about it. And he was making nasty little comments to me the whole time I was checking stuff out. Yep. I'm pretty sure he fucking and followed I us. I said, well, I said, maybe you can explain this to me. I don't understand why at 9 o'clock at night, when you still have a whole store full of customers, you shut down all your registers. That doesn't make sense. Well, some of us are college students and we have classes in the morning. Doesn't I said, matter. you're still on the clock until the store closes. Yeah. You're not leaving right now. So clearly that's not a valid excuse. That and it was Saturday night. He wasn't going to class on Sunday morning. Exactly. Oh, you doesn't run like that. Anyway. <coughs> then tonight, Walmart and Ripley did it. Waited until he got in line, then turned off the, the light and said, you have to go down there. Exactly. No. Yeah. You can see I've got a cartload of stuff. Yep. You just don't want to do your job. Yep. Getting tired of people not wanting to work and then complaining. That they can't find people. That they can't. I mean. I you, you're lucky you have a job. Yeah. I mean, how many jobs can I do way better than those idiots ever could? 
Are you going to run that Sorry. register? Yeah. All right. So, Goodwill. I found this cool fire truck. Since my client likes fire trucks, I thought this would just be fun. He could put it on a shelf or something. Yeah. It was only $1.99. It's got the little firefighter guy. I don't know if there's supposed to be more than one, but there's one anyway. Yeah. I think it's cute. Lord, they put enough tape on the thing, though. Woo. So there's that. You need to do something with this pony poster. It's getting torn up. <laughs> well, uh, things keep catching on it. Um, we found a My Little Pony The Princess Promenade video. Includes a bonus episode. This this is like original 80s, isn't it? Uh, Since 2006, but that's not... Uh, probably... Um, this looks like the 80s version. It probably, um, 2006 is probably when it was put on DVD. Yeah, yeah that was Generation 3, because I think that's when Generation 3 was... Spike the Dragon? That does not look like Spike the Dragon. <laughs> anyway... And he found a game, a computer game, uh, The Sims 2 Apartment Life Expansion Pack. Yeah. I don't know. I never got into The Sims. Yeah. So I mentioned the Marathon Timu Hall. Oh, boy. I now... It turned itself off while I was recording. Luckily, yeah. near the end. Two hours plus into it. I mean, I didn't see that it turned itself off. So I just kept on going, and then I, when I went to turn it off, it was already gone. I'm like, oh no! I got to figure out where it cut off so I can haul the rest of it. I know that the die cut machine didn't get on. There's two rolls of stickers that didn't get on, and I think think I've pretty much pulled everything. There were five items missing. But, I mean, y'all saw what the package looked like when I started, so. Okay, so this stack of CDs was $2.99 for the whole stack, <coughs> which I thought was great. Um, classical relaxation, Pachelbel with ocean sounds. I like Pachelbel Cannon. And they're looping it so that it runs 51 minutes. Uh, Bobby Brown, Don't Be Cruel. Meh. Don't be cruel. My prerogative. Every little step. Eh. Uh, classical relaxation. Bach with ocean sounds. Air. Jesu. Joy of man's desiring. Adagio. Prelude number one in C. Largo. Largo manantato. Yeah, I just said that all weird. Um, Ray Charles Anthology. This is heavy. Is this a two-disc one? No idea. It's heavy. Uh, hit the road, Jack. Georgia on my mind. <laughs> Let's go get stoned. I don't need no doctor. Hallelujah. I love her so. One mint julep. That lucky old son. Unchain my heart. Don't set me free. I can't stop loving you. I didn't realize he did a version of that. Uh, busted. Crying time. Cry. What I'd say. Here we go again. I've got a woman. Live. Eleanor Rigby? Hmm. You are my sunshine. Born to lose. America the beautiful. I guess it's just a single disc. It's just a heavy box, I guess. See, it had the songs that were missing off that other one that I was looking at. Oh, boy. Martini Music. I don't know any of these songs. Eh. Well, I might know Witchcraft. There's a couple different songs that go by that title. 
Um, here's Baroque Festival. It's got some Bach, Handel, Vivaldi. Oh, the Vivaldi's Four Seasons. That's that's a good. Uh, Bach Brandenburg Concerto Number no. Two. Handel Royal Fireworks Music. Hmm. Normally, when you hear Handel, you think um, the Messiah. Here's Michael Bublé, Call Me Irresponsible. The Best is Yet to Come, that's a good one. Me and Mrs. Jones. Wonderful Tonight. Hmm. Got the World on a String, Always on My Mind, That's Life. There's some good ones on there. Uh, who's this? Elton John. Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Daniel, that's a good one. Uh, Crocodile Rock. Those are probably the two better known ones on here. They're the two titles that are standing out to me anyway. Uh, the Best of Dean Martin. Memories are made of this. That's More. Uh, you Belong to Me. You're Nobody Till Somebody Loves You. Sway. Valare. Yeah, there's some good ones on there, too. Counting Crows. August and Everything After. Any of these that sound familiar? Mr. Jones. That's a good one. I don't know the other songs on here. Anyway. Adding to my CD stash. Oh, boy. Have I hit 2,000 yet? I have no idea. I mean, I had a thousand back in the 90s, so... Oh, boy. But I got always buying them, so... Damn. I found this box of rubber stamps. There's five of them. It was $1.99. And these are super cute. I can't get this thing to stay shut in the store. Now I can't get it open. <laughs> but it's this little set of stamps. They're little Valentine mice. Oh, they're from Stampin' Up, 1998. So here we got a little boy mouse with an I love you heart he's holding behind his back and his little girlfriend mouse. Here's two girl mice and one's got like a little heart-shaped cake that she's handing the other one. This one, little girl mouse drawing a heart. There's a little girl mouse blowing heart bubbles. And a little boy mouse with a be mine heart. I just think they're adorable. These are the only mice I can tolerate. The live ones that keep getting into all my stuff and tearing it up. Don't like them. We picked up a couple games. We got um, Family Feud. We got a DVD version of the match game and Trivial Pursuit 90s edition. Oh, Good lord, this thing's heavy. I, I like that it's in a tin. But man, it's heavy. <laughs> There's something else in here. But, oh. This pack of knitting needles I'm going to pass on to my sister in law since she likes to knit. There's three pairs. 5.5, 6.0, and 6.5. I know that they're like the sizes and all, but I uh, that I don't really know much about knitting. <laughs> I made a scarf, and I was excited that I was able to do that. But with arthritis in my hands, it's really hard to do things like knit and sew and... <sighs> So I've kind of gotten out of doing those kind of crafts. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, so that's all from Goodwill. The fire truck just will not cooperate. Okay, Dollar Tree. Oh, good shit. 
we got some Cheetos mac and cheese for cheesy flavor. I hadn't seen this out and about until tonight in, at Dollar Tree, so I thought, yeah, we'll get a couple boxes. Maybe we can have that tomorrow if we go out and get milk. Yeah. That's one of the things I was going to get when we were at Walmart, and then they were... Yeah. Milk, bread, hot pockets, pizza. Milk, and bread, and eggs. Yeah, too. Uh, yeah, I got some more of the glitter paper. This time I got red and green that they didn't have at the other Dollar Tree. And let's see what's in this bag. I got this Beware Haunted sign because it's got this cool bat on it. <laughs> Set that over there so that can get smooshed. I got... Um, some more stamps. <laughs> what on earth? Weird shit popping up. <laughs> what is my computer Obvious doing? It's currently active. I know yeah, it's currently. Obviously. Technology. Stop it. What is my computer doing? Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so this one says, enjoy the little things and amazing. It's got dragonflies and butterflies and there's a ladybug and a bumblebee and some flowers. I think those are cool. And this set, there's beautiful, enjoy life, have a nice day, and it's a whole bunch of different kinds of birds. A flower and a leaf. But it's mostly birds. And he got the uh, My Little Pony. Is this Pony Life or is this? Uh, Generation 5. Generation 5? Yeah, it's a more or less newer one. So, there's what the pictures are inside. If I can get it with less glare. There we go. You can kind of see them, I guess. can't set anything down because the computer goes nuts. <laughs> Found a couple DVDs. There's um, Digimon Adventure Try. And it says Future. I don't know anything about it other than some kind of anime. Coexistence. So there's probably at least <laughs> two or three different ones. Because I have a different one. And I'm not even sure if that one is the same one. But and we got a Doctor Who Deep Breath. It's with uh, Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. See, I don't know angels. if we've got it, because if we have it, then it's part of Series 9. Probably. Where I have Parts 1 and 2. Yeah, who knows. I, I couldn't tell just by looking at it. I got some rub-on transfers of numbers. Yeah. I just thought they looked neat. I couldn't remember if I had these or not, but some cupcake stickers I thought were super cute. And they're a little bit dimensional because they got like the little bit of um, foam in be underneath it so that they'll stand out a little bit. I thought this would be fun when I do my food journal thing. Why are you bouncing? I don't know. Goodness gracious. I found a, another metal die. This one's a row of flowers. That's everything in that bag. Went to get the stuff out of the car and everything just fell out all over the ground. So hopefully we got everything. Uh, I'm having a night. Can you tell? Stay. Roll of parchment paper because we're almost out. I'd rather use that than have to scrub my pans all the time. Especially if we're just doing a pizza. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's just crazy. Found some washi tape. This one's cute with little bears across it. This one says beautiful day with some rainbow stripes. And this one is just kind of an abstract paint. And like pink and teal and yellow. I didn't see just the single larger rolls at the other Dollar Trees, so 
you got to check them all. You never know what you're going to find. Huh. Bakugan mystery figure. Back in the day, he was all into Bakugan. Yep. And then he snuck this one in the cart. And I was like, what are you doing? I'm surprised he didn't pick the My Little Pony one instead. Are you going to open it to see what you got or just leave yeah. it in the packet? I guess open it. And we found maple cream flavored Werther's. So we'll taste those here in a minute. So I think this is the last two pieces. This is some more of that peel and stick wallpaper. And I think this is a, a cool design. It's like gold on white. And I think that'll be really cool to do a cover um, for one of the junk journal things. And then I found some cute letters. What on earth? What the fuck? <laughs> My computer is freaking out and it's freaking me out. <laughs> anyway, I've got an alphabet and the letters look like donuts. I just think they are so darn cute. Alright. Before the computer does any more weirdness, I'm here. Take your back on. Let's try these maple cream. They look like they're filled. They're soft caramels. It looks like they've got filling inside. If you look at the picture there. <coughs> they also had the pumpkin spice ones. But we had those last year. And they're pretty good. I just wanted to try something different today. Since we're going into fall here in the next couple weeks. Um, there you go. Oh, did you open it? Yeah. What'd you get? I think... I don't even know what the fuck the name is. N Milius? It's something. The only one I know out of the four is Drago. Milius? Where is it? This uh, two-head hygienoid wannabe... Thingy. So it's like a two-headed black and purple dragon. Probably meant to be darkest or something, because that's generally what darkest is. I don't know. He's kind of cool. He's kind of like a, a rubbery figure. I wasn't entirely sure what you were getting. I thought you were going to get, you know, one of the back is on balls, but I guess... Yeah, that's what I thought. It does say figure on there, so... Get back in your little pouch. He's not cooperating. Here, your little dragon dude is misbehaving. Okay. So it just looks like a soft caramel. And it's got a little bit of creamy stuff in the middle. Check that back there. Not bad. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's caramel. I like caramel. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who's watched the channel for a while knows I'll eat caramel because we do caramels all the time. Okay. So now I think we'll end this here. Um, don't really have anything else to talk about. If you're in West Virginia, I don't know if it's any place else or not. I don't know if it's a chain or anything. But if you ever find a Las Trancas, T-R-A-N-C-A-S, Mexican restaurant, it's pretty good. I think they said they have like five or six locations. I, I don't know. I think it said on the back of their uh, annual menu thing. They the had. menu, yeah. Yeah, i got to figure out what still needs to be re-recorded. Oh, boy. <coughs> Which means I'm going to have to skim through two hours of video to find <laughs> out what part got missed. Hmm. Oh, well. Alright, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get this one uploaded while I mess around with the other one. 
Might as well give you something to watch. <laughs> I may have to uh, wait until morning. I'm tired. Yeah. It is basically 12 in the morning. Well, yeah. It's quarter after midnight. Yeah. These little wrappers are cute. They got little maple leaves. Little red maple leaves on a gold... Well, that's on the floor. <coughs> on a gold strip. Alright, so we're going to end it here. Remember to do all the youtube -y things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads should the YouTube gods deem it worthy. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Um... I either have 119 subscribers or 140 subscribers. Eh, who knows? <laughs> when you look at the analytics page, under live count, it said 119. But down where it's showing, like the graph, it's showing 140. It says I had 45 new subscribers, which would be the 140 number. Did a whole bunch of people subscribe and then turn around and unsubscribe? I have I heard. think that would be kind of weird. Yeah. That, like, 20 people would have done that. It's possible. Yeah, I've also I don't know, heard but YouTube has unsubscribed people from different channels for no reason. And yeah, so I don't, I don't know why there's a, that discrepancy going on. But I'm really happy to be over 100 subscribers, finally. Yeah. It's been, what, 12 plus years. How long have you been on YouTube? Uh, at least since 2012. I, I've been on probably... Okay, maybe more like 10 years for me. Yeah. It, it's been a long time. We've been, and my channel just... For a long time I wasn't doing anything with it, and then I started doing stuff, and it's been just slowly creeping up there, so... Thank you yeah. to Cheryl for the shout out because that really made a difference. Um, make sure you go check her hers out if you haven't been there. Um, she does a lot of Timu hauls. Um, she talked about doing cross stitch stuff, so I don't know if she does any videos based on that or not. All I have seen her do so far is the um, Timu stuff, and she had another one that I haven't had a chance to watch yet. I think... I want to say it was for sunglasses. I can't swear to it, though. I, I'm not... My brain is kind of everywhere right now. Um, but she's definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen her channel. And... I think... We're out of here. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.